Hi, hello everyone. Ang topic natin today is how to create this practice multiplication random numbers in Excel, which you can do whenever you have online session with your students or with your kids by using a simple formula in Excel. So we can create something like this. So I'm just pressing F9 and then the numbers uh, are automatically updated to, to give us random numbers to calculate for our multiplication exercises. So how we're able to do this? It's quite simple. We're just using functions in Excel. We call it rand between. Okay, rand between function. It is uh, available for Microsoft 365 and Excel for the web. And the syntax is just rand between bottom and top. So we will just assign numbers which is the the bottom number and the top number so let's go let's proceed let's create this formula inside excel okay we will create two formulas here the first is the, the first number rand between and then the bottom is one and then the top number is ten so we are creating multiplication tables between one and ten and then we'll just insert the multiplication sign and we'll just copy the formula again and then equal sign and then oops so for the equal sign we need to insert another uh, character which is the uh, uh, hyphen and then equal sign makes the equal sign a text and does not confuse excel that we're trying to insert a formula and then we'll just insert a question mark so now when I pre every time I press F9, those two numbers are randomly generated inside Excel. We can uh, bring out the formula here. So just in case you want to know the answer. Press F9 again and the results are also dynamically updated whenever we press F9. So with this, we'll just need to create some uh, formatting. So whenever I press F9, just look at the numbers and then the result on the other cell. So it keeps on changing whenever I press F9. So it is a good uh, practice set uh, if you're going to have online classes or online sessions with your students. Uh, just by doing this kind of exercises, you can practice them using multiplication and actually you can also do this in other math exercises just like addition and subtraction and division so aside from this we'll just insert a simple um, shape okay so let's try again so whenever we press F9 it gives us different why we have so whenever we press F9 we're getting new numbers as a result so for okay the reason why we're getting this number is because it's not enough space inside the cell so let's try again F9 okay still a bit okay let's try again F9 so now we're getting all the numbers including the 10. You can just hide it if you're doing zoom sessions and just show this portion here. So thank you for watching and see you next time.